Our next error is the error of commission. This error occurs when the correct amount is entered on the correct side of a wrong personal account. Now, what are personal accounts? Well, personal accounts are debtors. What are debtors? These are customers that owe you money. And then also creditors. Creditors are suppliers that you owe money. Our debtors are assets and our creditors are liabilities. Let's have a look at our example. Sale of goods to P. Jonas, 720 Namibian dollars, was recorded in the account of P. Jones. Now let's have a look at how this was recorded. Sales was credited, which is fine, but then the account of P. Jones was debited instead of the account of P. Jonas. Let's have a look at how we would go about correcting this in our general journal. Now again remember we need to write the date as 31. So we will start by entering our date. Then we need to enter the account to be debited first. In this case it will be P. Jonas. And then the account to be credited would be P. Jones because we need to rectify our error. And then finally, our narration, which is sale of goods to P. Jonas, recorded in P. Jones. Error now corrected. Let's have a look at how we will enter this in our ledger. Now, how this was recorded was as follows. Sales was credited, which is fine. And then, the account of P. Jones was debited. But... The transaction was not for P. Jones, it was for P. Jonas. How would we go about correcting this error? Well, we would first need to credit the account of P. Jones, which we did in our general journal, and then we need to debit the account of P. Jonas, which we also did in our general journal. And if we follow our accounting equation rules, we would know that this is correct because our sales was increasing and sales increase on the credit side and our data was also increasing and our data is an asset and our asset increases on the debit side. Let's now take a look at the effect on our trial balance. Now on our incorrect trial balance it shows as follows that there's a debit balance of 720 on the debit side for P. Jones which is incorrect. It should be for P. Jonas. But our trial balance still balances. Now let's have a look at our corrected trial balance. We would then credit P. Jones's account with 720 just like we did in our ledger and in our general journal which would bring the account of P. Jones to zero and then we would debit the account of P. Jonas with 720 Namibian dollars and at the end our trial balance still balances. So again both the incorrect trial balance and the corrected trial balance still balances and again this is what we need to pay attention to when dealing with errors that do not affect the trial balance. Let's move on to the next error.